I was able to get this done in a matter of, I'd say about two, three months or so, while also doing my full-time job, making content here as well, and a bunch of other things, right? Other aspects of my life were on hold because I needed to take certification. So I think the advantage I had was the fact that I was using Splunk every single day. So everything I was learning, I was able to apply it to my job every single day, which I think is the best way to learn anything. So if you're in a situation, you're extremely fortunate. If you're not, definitely, definitely be out of Splunk Home Lab and make sure you have like a tenant at home. They are constantly applying and practicing the things going to be learning on your journey to pass the Splunk power user. I've made a video about the Splunk core user. You can check that out. But in order to pass the power user, I'll show you exactly what I used. I used just a single resource, actually two resources, and that was more than enough for me to pass the exam on my first attempt. Let's get into it. Now, the single and only course I used to pass the certification was a Splunk core certified power user by Haley Shaw. And in regards to practice exams, I used this practice exam here again on Udemy, both links for the Splunk Udemy course and the Splunk practice exam will be in the description below. 